Hey everyone, good morning. Hope you're having a great day so far. So what do I have on my plate today? I have a 97 Ford Ranger with a 2.3 inline 4 and a 5-speed manual. Customer's complaint, well I actually got towed in, and the customer's complaint is a clutch pedal hit the floor and I heard a pop and now it doesn't start. So I get to it and I find that the pe clutch pedal is on the floor and what I wound up doing is I detrimmed the lower part of the dash to try to get a better look. Of course, it didn't help me at all because it's blocked by stuff. But let me show you what I got. So I detrimmed it. And here's some beautiful wiring somebody did. And this is the clutch pedal. So I look up underneath and let me see if I can get in there. It's very tight in here. So I may not be able to see it well. But there you can see the clutch rod right there. There's the clutch switch, just dangling, but the clutch rod up there, you can see where it attaches to the pedal and there's no bushing in the rod itself. So I was looking around and believe it or not on the floor, I found that. So the bushing itself just wore completely out and fell out. So I am actually going to replace the clutch switch, which I have gotta love the seat covers which I have right here you have to disassemble it to install it and I have a new Dorman 74014 clutch bushing or clutch pedal bushing snap rod thingy pedal yeah anyway so I'm gonna wind up installing that and hopefully get this back to the customer today so they can have the truck back now it's a little tight under there. there's really no way for me to film this so I'm gonna take it apart and I'll pause and I'll show you in between how I'm doing and how I'm making out. All right, so I'm just gonna pause this. All right, so now that I got this, uh, the switch itself out, let me show you something. So here, the original switch is supposed to have a plate that covers this uh, and locks it in place because the rod basically lays inside of it and the, lot, the rod has notches on it that grab the switch. The switch is that piece in there. You can see the contact there and the spot down there and what happens is that piece is on a spring you see the spring there and that rides down and makes contact down at the base so now the new one is a slightly different design and you have to undo it and take this cover off so let me show you that in a second i'm gonna pause this again it's actually relatively simple you just have to pry out on these to get them off the locks right there and once you do so you can pop that up and off so now this, you can see right there, see that? That's how that works. So now this is going to get installed on there with this part towards the firewall, this part towards the pedal. And this thing will snap in place, and then I'm going to put the cover back on it. So let me get that in place first. Actually, real quick, before I do that, this piece, see it has that notched piece at the end there? That will install first at an angle, like almost like a uh, gun clip on certain guns. You drop that down like that and it goes underneath those two edges there to lock into place. All right, so I got that part in place. And as you can see under here, let me focus that a little bit. As you can see, oops, let me turn it flash on, didn't realize it wasn't on, or my light I should say. And you can see it's in place, it's very tight. I got the cover back on, it's in place, there's a step on the rod itself that catches in that white plastic piece that slides. That's basically what locks it down in place. So now, I'm going to hook the wiring harness up to it, and then I'm going to go up to the other end and get that bushing installed. That goes all the way up in there, very difficult to see. Uh, but I should. it's going to be all by feel, so let me get that done. All right, so going completely by feel, what I did was, let me get back up in there so you can see this. Oh, you can see this because I can't even see my phone. Where the clip is, I put the clip into the rod first. And the nice thing about it is the rod will rotate 360 degrees, no problem. So basically I had the opening in the rod at the uh, nine to six position. I was able to clip that bushing into the rod and then snap the rod over the pedal. Uh, it actually went pretty easy. The clip itself, or bushing, 
you get to see it, let me do this. These little tabs here on the crowns, they actually have notches that stick out that lock, um, almost like fish hooks, oops, that lock into the rod itself. And obviously they all broke on this. And then on the inside, it's the same thing, only opposite to lock on to the stud that's sticking off the pedal. So basically I just reached up there and like this, you know, snapped it into place and snapped right in very easily. Now I have arthritis and I had no issue getting this in place by hand. Uh, and then once I did that, because the rod was in the six to 12 position like this, I was able to rotate the rod like this and just snap it in place. So it went right in. So let me get some of this cleaned up right here and then I'm gonna try starting it. All right, so I got some stuff out of the way so this way I can hit the clutch pedal and take our keys. Let's see if she starts. Oh, there we go, perfect. So that's it. Uh, I can just button the bottom of this dashboard back together and give it back to the customer. But if you ever get one of these, taking the bottom of the dash apart is there's no reason to. It doesn't give you any access to anything. So live and learn. I guess that's about it. If you're getting anything out of my videos, hit the like button. If you could, please subscribe. It really help me out. Help me make more videos. Uh, if you want to share my videos, go right ahead. I have no problem with that. Uh, if you want to join our group on Facebook called Backyard Mechanics, please do so. Make sure you answer all the questions. Our admins will screen everybody. I screen everybody. And if you answer all the questions, I will go check your profile anyway, because I like to see who's joining the group. If you block the profile, you're not getting in. I don't care if you answer all the questions. Um, and that's about it. So everybody have a great day and keep wrenching.